evening and welcome to our 2013 Christmas Progress. The musical presentation of the, nut, the Nutcracker. I'm Justin and my newer 8th grade classmate Connor over there and I volunteer this afternoon to speak to you. Actually, we wanted to save Mr. Classy the trouble of talking tonight. Since we know he likes to talk a lot, but don't worry. He wrote this for me to read to you. Just in the last half hour, Connor will announce our curtain call meeting. Mr. Christie, our principal, regrets being able, unable to be here due to his health, but he also extends his welcome to you tonight. A great deal of time for planning and communicating have gone into tonight's efforts. He and Mr. Classy would wish to thank the many staff, faculty, parents, organizations, and especially us, the students, for all of our hard work in practicing, decorating, dancing, or acting in the musical tonight. Anyway, we are glad that you are here and that you will be watching what should be a 40 to 45 minute musical. Please help us keep that time as short as possible and please help us be heard by everyone here watching here talking as quiet as possible. We are glad to have younger children here and we ask that they remain with you at all times. As many parents are recording this, please turn off all electronics, communications devices to also keep, help keep the noise down. As I mentioned, Mr. Class, he wrote this for me to read to you, but uh, finally to the end of the page, you already heard the over, overture musical to the Nutcracker. And now we present the remaining of the musical. Thank you again for being here and please enjoy. Well, here it is, almost Christmas again. And if I do say so myself, it's going to be a white one. But this is just about the coldest Christmas I can remember. And I can remember quite a few. That's Fritz and Maria over there. They're waiting for the natural event of the lighting of the Christmas tree and opening the presents. That must be Judge Jossam I now. He always comes with a nice gift for the children on Christmas. I wonder what gift he's bringing tonight. Judge Jossam I just knew it must be you. I'm so glad you're here. It never seems like Christmas until you arrive. <laughs> well, thank you, children. And just wait until you see what I brought you. Oh, toy soldiers, just what I wanted. <laughs> and I have a little something here for you both. Let us see, what is it? Now, 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 not so fast. Here, Mary, you may open it. Yeah. Oh, dear little funny man. That's me she's talking about. Can you believe it? A dear little funny man, that's not the way I see myself. More like tall, dark, and handsome would be more like it. Well, I am the nut crack, you see. What I do for the food, you, I crack nuts. You put a shell in my mouth, and I crack, and I bite down and crack the shell. My dentist says, my dentist thinks I should retire, no hard and teeth. But, well, actually, I'm nuts about my work. What is it? It's a nut crack. You see, you put a nut in its mouth and make it bite down on it, and press it, the nut is cracked. Just like I said. What is it? Huh? Oh, Fritz, look what you've done. You've broken it. Oh, who cares? It didn't work right anyway. It was just cheap junk. What an awful thing to say, Fritz. I agree. Here, let me see if I can fix it. There, it is now. And you never even think to judge. 
I'm sorry, Judge. I think it's a wonderful gift. Well, that must be all now. Merry Christmas to you, children. And to my crackers. Good night to you, too, Judge. Well, that was a close call if I do say so myself. What a very nice Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve, too. Oh, who cares? I wish you'd just leave me alone, Marie. I wish everybody would leave me alone. I'm going to bed. I wish I didn't have to go to bed at all. I wish I could just stay with you here at Christmas morning. Say, I had no idea it was midnight already. I've heard that some very strange things can happen at midnight. In fact, my old enemy, the mask, sometimes makes his appearance with his army. And if he drops in the night, I'm ready.
to visit the Kingdom of Sweets? Oh yes, I'd love to go. Well, just close your eyes and look me up.
just a friendless place. Unless you happen to be on a diet. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about it. At least, not yet. Are you going to be staying with us forever? Well, I'm afraid I will miss my father and mother, and maybe even my brother and friends. But I'm not too sure about him. In a way, I think I'm just a visitor. We'll come back soon. We love visitors. Oh, I will. I promise I will. Well, we must be off now. Uh, there's a lot to see and a lot of miles to cover before midnight. Well, bye then. You may have built me up all night, but I'm not allowed to speak. Where are we going next? Well, we're on our way to the capital city candy land, but first we have to cross the lemonade sea and the brown sugar desert before morning. You may have built me up all night, but I'm not allowed to be up all night. No one will ever know me. Remember, this is a magic Christmas Eve.
you that no one ever gets anything done in Cookie County. Why not? Well, they spend all day having tea parties and tasting wonderful new kinds of teas and cookies. Why, the only business open in uh, Cookie County is Chinese tea shops. Why, Chinese tea is the most popular drink in all of Cookie County.
gifted of endless sweetness. I'm sure it's just as grand as you dreamed, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Exactly.